welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am Canna Campbell. So today's video is a really fun one. It's all about where, how, and what to declutter in your life to make some extra cash. Because let's be honest, with the rising cost of living and interest rates going up, who doesn't want some extra money in their life? And I have to say, Personally, even just the thought of some extra money sitting in my bank account is the best procrastination crusher when it comes to decluttering and a brilliant motivator. Now, I'm someone who's coming from experience when it comes to decluttering because decluttering has been a very valuable activity because it has helped me build up a diversified investment portfolio worth over $230,000 and providing me with a growing passive income stream. Also, I should point out whenever I have decluttered and I've been decluttering for a really long time and I declutter to make money, Whenever I've done this, not only have I ended up with extra cash that I can put towards my own personal financial well-being, it's also been huge from a mental health perspective. I have find myself with so much more space in my home, so much more space in my heart and body. I have so much more time for myself because I'm not running around taking care of items. And I also find I have a greater sense of organization and order. So decluttering in your life is a fantastic activity with so many flow on benefits to come your way. Now today's video is proudly sponsored by Gold Buyers. Gold Buyers allow you to sell any of your old, unwanted, even broken gold jewelry from the safety and security of your own home. Now I'll be talking about Gold Buyers in just a moment, but you're definitely going to want to know all about Gold Buyers because this is a very valuable resource if you're looking to hustle up some quick cash from decluttering. All right, here are the seven areas I recommend that you declutter in your life that you may or may not have considered and how to not only raise cash, but also do it in a very efficient and effective manner from the safety and security of your own home. So everyone could be a part of this. All right, area number one to declutter, and that is your jewelry box. I read somewhere the other day that 70% of jewelry goes unworn and never sees the light of day. It sits in the darkness in your box, which is so sad. And I thought this was a little bit conservative because when I looked at my own jewelry box as I opened it up to look at decluttering, I realized that I wear 20% of my jewelry 80% of the time. The remaining 80% not only sits in the darkness of the jewelry box, but it also sits up against each other, damaging and scratching it. Now, as I went through my jewelry box, I realized that I had necklaces and bracelets, gold ones that had gotten all like scratched, but even worse, they got all like twisted and into a massive knot. I also realized I had old gold rings and old gold brooches that were really outdated and definitely did not reflect my sense of style or taste. And I also discovered that I had old, like odd earrings, so I'd lost the other earring, which was really sad. And on top of that, I realized I had old jewelry from ex-boyfriends that made me feel icky just looking at it, let alone the thought of actually putting it on and it touching my skin. Now this is where Gold Buyers comes in because they offer a safe and secure service where you can sell all your old, broken, unwanted, unloved gold jewelry and collect some cash. All you need to do is jump on the Gold Buyers website and order a secure envelope. Once that arrives, you simply put your old jewelry into that and send it back to them. Once Gold Buyers have received your package, within 24 hours, they will provide you with a quote for all of that old, unwanted, broken gold jewelry. Now, if you're happy with the quote, you accept it and you collect your cash. And if you're not quite ready to release that old jewelry, that's perfectly fine. Gold Buyers will return back to you your gold with no hidden costs or charges whatsoever. It's incredibly safe and incredibly transparent. And in fact, you have nothing to lose by doing this because at the very least, you'll know what your gold is worth. And you might decide at a later date, you do want to sell it to gold buyers. Now I should point out for someone whose money mantra is when it comes to shopping, only buy what you love, value, use and appreciate. To me, it doesn't make sense to have old, broken, unwanted, unloved gold jewelry sitting in your jewelry box. For me, I think it's nicer to go and get rid of all of that stuff, release it and sell it and have it recycled and use that money to buy yourself something that you really love, value, use and appreciate. Something you're gonna wear all the time, something that's special to you and something that reflects your current personal style and taste. 
That sounds way more fun to me, as well as, of course, the extra cash. All right, the second area that I recommend you declutter, and that is your wardrobe. Did you know that the average Australian throws out 23 kilos of unwanted clothes each year, of which over 80% end up in landfill? Now, myself personally, I very rarely throw any clothes out. If something is threadbare or torn, I actually use that in, and turn that into cleaning rags. But for items that don't fit me anymore or don't suit me anymore, I will always declutter and on sell. Now, my first point of call, which I highly recommend to anyone when it comes to decluttering your wardrobe and making some quick cash safely and securely from your own home, just like gold buyers do, and that is to use your social media accounts. Take a photograph, put it on Instagram stories or Instagram post, or maybe even TikTok or even your own Facebook account. It doesn't matter because you are selling to your own community. People who know you, know your style and taste and like that. And it's a really nice way of engaging with your community because you have a two-way conversation about the particular garment. They might be interested in multiple items. You might be able to give them a discount or free postage. And you get to pass that item on knowing that it's going on to a new journey, a new chapter in its life, and it's going to be worn by someone who will love value used and appreciate it on top of making some extra quick cash the third area I recommend you declutter and that is your furniture the average Australian has more than five thousand three hundred dollars worth of unwanted unused furniture in their own home where was look at all this money to be made from decluttering guys now, if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that we recently sold our house and moved. And we went through a decluttering furniture process because our new home is quite modern and it is, lends itself to a more minimalistic palette. So we decluttered excessive furniture that was cluttering our space, um, you know, creating a bit of it, just an eyesore and wouldn't suit our new home. We also decluttered things like musical instruments and parts of the home that we just didn't need anymore that the new owners didn't want. And then when we moved into our new home, they actually left stuff. They left so many potted plants. Now, this was great because I was like, great, decluttering time, I'm gonna make some extra cash. And I literally put everything on Gumtree. It took literally a couple of minutes. I had a measuring tape handy. I took lots of photos with great light and I was blown away how many messages and people wanting to come up and collect from this, my own home, all these pots, all these plants, all these bits of unwanted furniture. And I got to make some good cash from this. So make sure you consider decluttering your own home. And if you do it through Gumtree and you do local pickup only, you don't need to worry about postage whatsoever. And it's a nice way to get to know your community. In fact, from decluttering some of my plants, I discovered I have the loveliest neighbor who's living just around the corner and has taken so many of my plants for her own garden. The fourth area that I recommend you declutter, and I bet you have never thought about this before, and that is declutter your budget. Go through your budget, your living expenses, cross-check your bank account statements on your phone and print them off as well. Make sure you cover all of your accounts, including your credit card if you use that on a regular basis, and look to declutter any of the unnecessary excessive expenses in your life. Now to make sure that those expenses do get properly captured and go towards savings and don't evaporate and get spent somewhere else, I recommend you open up a separate dedicated savings account so you can proactively transfer all of those savings. So say for example, you decide to cut out, well, cut down or cut out one of your subscriptions, say $20 per month, make sure you replace that with a separate dedicated savings plan, a regular savings plan of $20 per month into that separate savings account so that it really counts and you'd be amazed as to how quickly it all adds up. But I have to say, when you do this properly, and it doesn't take that long, particularly when you do it on a regular basis, you feel so much lighter and you feel so much more clarity and a better sense of direction when it comes to your own financial well-being. So not only will decluttering your budget save you money, uh, it will also make you feel so much better about your future. Area number five to declutter, and this is sporting equipment. Now, if you've been watching my videos from years ago, you'll know that I decluttered all of my sporting equipment ages ago because it just didn't make sense. I love to ski and I realized Whenever you go skiing, most ski resorts have amazing rentals. You can rent the latest state-of-the-art equipment for a fraction of the price when it comes to owning it. And also because sporting equipment is constantly being updated, the moment you buy something, it quickly depreciates in value and the technology is old. 
So I decluttered my ski stuff years ago and of course that went to the thousand dollar project to help contribute towards this diversified investment portfolio. However, Tom has only recently cottoned onto this and he decluttered all his sporting equipment. He had so many surfboards which were too small or too big or weren't right for him and his level. He even got rid of paddle boards. And when you think about it, if you're someone who loves your sports, there's going to be sporting equipment that you don't use anymore that is outdated or you've, you've you know your skill set is outgrown or even some of your kids sporting equipment you can declutter and make some extra cash you'll be amazed as to how quickly it goes and a great resource for this to do it quickly and easily and safely is using apps such as Gumtree and of course all of the Facebook marketplace groups Area number six to declutter, and I'm sorry, but this is not appropriate for everyone, so my apologies, but it might be appropriate maybe further down the track, and that is kids and baby stuff. Kids and baby stuff is expensive. It's also very bulky, so it takes up huge amounts of storage in homes. And quite often, baby stuff in particular it only has a short period of time. Someone was telling me the other day that their baby outgrew the bassinet within 16 weeks. So if you were done with having more children, a great way of releasing all that stuff is obviously to on sell it. Now there is an amazing new marketplace coming out soon, which I'm not allowed to share yet, but if you make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you'll be the first to hear all about it because it's going to be an incredible platform to buy and sell high quality baby and kids items. That's all I can share right now. But if you have this stuff and you're finding it's in your garage or in your storage cupboards and it's creating excess clutter and making you feel overwhelmed, let it go. And if you want, you can buy your children something with the money that you raise. In fact, you might even decide to use that money towards their own financial well-being. And then finally, area number seven to declutter in your life to quickly and easily make some quick cash. And that is cars and cars accessories. Now, of course, not everyone has a car to sell or not everyone can declutter their car because they use it every day. But if you don't know this right now, the secondhand car market is hot to trot. Someone was telling me that they were able to sell their car for double what they paid for it not that long ago. And when I jumped online and looked at the value of my car and realized what I could sell it for, I have to say I'm really tempted to sell it. Now, you might not have a car and I said and you can't declutter that. That's perfectly fine. But you also might have a whole range of car accessories that you don't use that you can declutter because they are also hot property right now. And this includes, but is not limited to, trailers, pods for roofs, and roof racks. All these things are incredibly valuable and they're things that take up space in your home, but things that you can get rid of if you are not using. Now, that is it for this video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you're feeling really inspired and motivated to go through your life and look at all the different places and areas and ways that you can declutter. Of course, starting with your jewelry box. But promise me one thing, whatever you do with the cash that you raise, make sure you at least use some of it to put towards your own financial well-being, such as the $1,000 project. And a very special thank you to Gold Buyers for proudly sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. As I mentioned, Gold Buyers offer an incredible service with complete transparency and excellent value for money. So thank you, Gold Buyers. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you next Thursday for more financial motivation, inspiration, and education on Sugar Mama TV. Ciao for now.